This video will teach you posterior axillary traction, which is very similar to pectoral traction, another video that we have shown you just a little bit ago. To begin, we'll begin just like pectoral traction. We'll start with the patient putting their knees up onto the bed. Again, this is one of the points in your exam that people are most likely to miss, just because they get so focused on the upper body that they forget about those knees. Next, we'll have the patient push their arms together just like they're praying again, just like for pectoral traction. Only this time, I'm going to take my hands and come underneath into the posterior axillary region, hence the name posterior axillary traction. The patient will then relax their arms over their belly button. Now, just like pectoral traction, I'll have the patient inhale deeply, and I'm going to pull traction following that stretch upon inhalation. Then, as the patient exhales, I'll maintain that traction, thus putting the upper body into a stretch. I'll follow this through his inhalation exhalation pattern for about 20 to 30 seconds. Now the purpose of this technique, just like pectoral attraction, is to increase the AP diameter, to increase the venous and lymphatic return, and to help with the overall drainage of the head, neck, and shoulders. Which you'll notice are the same reasons for doing pectoral attraction. You want to keep that stretch in the upper body, maintain traction throughout the inspiration and expiration cycle. And that is posterior axillary traction. 